Hello there, hope you're doing well. My name is Hernan Perez de Oliveira, and I'm a research candidate at the Griffith Institute for Tourism. I'm doing a PhD. It's titled an econometric analysis of airline strategic network design, and it has the purpose of contributing to the understanding of the nature, so what affects and the implication, what is affected by the way that airlines configure their networks. You might think that that's a small part of their businesses, but actually plays a central role in the industry. You may also think that there are not very clear social implications for that, but in reality, it has been consistently noted that um, the availability of air services has a positive impact over the economic development of regions and their accessibility, right? So for the thesis, a series of case studies were uh, conducted. Those studies focused on data from Brazil and the United States, given data availability issues, uh, particularly concerning with the level of detail that is required. The first paper from the thesis was a systematic literature review, uh, which uh, was basically um, a computer-assisted thematic analysis. This paper was published on the Journal of Air Transport Management, and the results informed the analysis of the proper case studies. The first case study uh, was about the relationship between airline business models and network configurations. This paper used data from Brazil, and it was published on transportation science. It's a methodological paper. Uh, the paper basically decomposes the network building rationales of airlines as a combination of archetypical business model uh, network building rationales. Uh, results suggest that all airlines seem to have repositioned themselves along their trajectories uh, as a combination of two network building rationales. And we also find that uh, merger events seem to have served as stepping stones for the acquiring carrier to move closer to the network building of the acquired carrier. The second case study is about the airfares and network design of a financially distressed carrier and its uh, subsequent bankruptcy protection and acquisition in Brazil. This paper was published on the Journal of Air Transport Management. Results suggest uh, fiercer price competition from rivals in the periods preceding the bankruptcy protection and the acquisition events. We also find enduring uh, price competitiveness in the long run after the acquisition event, uh, suggesting that bankruptcy protection regulations can help sustain market contestability. For the final study, which is still a work in progress, we looked at schedule peaking and network scope at airports in the United States between 2001 and 2022. This paper will be presented at the Air Transport Research Society Conference of 2023 in Japan. Right? So for this paper, we analyzed the four major American carriers and we contrast their operations at different groups of airports, uh, differing by the level of operations and the level of competition. Preliminary results suggest that uh, an airport's network influence and the volume of connecting passengers have major roles for both measures. And we also find that after mergers, uh, all airlines seem to have increased their network scope at individual airports, while hub and spoke airlines increase schedule concentration and Southwest decreased it. If anything that I said today sparked your interest and you want to know more about it, please feel free to get in touch via the Griffith Institute for Tourism. Thank you.